my back was damaged about 11 years ago and um, as a result of that I've had about four lots of surgery now um, which has left me with permanent problems so I have pain in my back um, sciatica I've got numbness in my foot which means I tend to lose my balance a bit sometimes I struggle to walk any real distance um, it, I struggle to stand still which sounds a bit silly but standing still is a problem it also means that I need to be careful not to twist my spine so things like getting in and out of the car I need to be able to open the car door wide so that I don't twist my upper body when I'm getting in and out I'm still working full-time um, but it, it certainly impacts on what I can do day to day. Just things like the housework, trying to do that on top of a full day's work is hard going. It impacts on how I interact with the grandchildren. Picking them up, for example, is something that I can't do anymore. I certainly knew of the blue badge scheme because my father's had a badge for many years. Um, and I suppose I started to think about it I think it was probably after the second operation when I realised that my back was not going to get any better. That's when I looked into establishing whether or not I was eligible for Blue Badge. It was a simple process to apply for the badge. I downloaded the form from the local authorities' website, um, filled it in. It wasn't too long. Um, the questions were fairly straightforward. Uh, that was then submitted back to the local authority. You've got nothing to lose. If you think you may be entitled to a badge, go onto your local authorities' website and check it out. Download the form, it's simple. It's made a massive difference. Um, if I, well, going to work every day, it means I can park in the disabled bay and I know that I've got enough, enough room to get in and out of the car safely. Uh, if I couldn't park, in a, in a disabled space and have that extra room, um, my, I, I would be in agony constantly and that would mean I wouldn't be able to work, I wouldn't be able to go to the shops, I wouldn't be able to do anything really. I get very angry when I see people parked in disabled bays. If there's no badge up, I do get very angry. Um, get a lot of people parking in them just because they're the closest ones to the shop and they think oh well I'm only popping in for five ten minutes it doesn't matter I'll park here but that five or ten minutes might mean that I'm not able to park in one of those spaces and I often think how would they feel if it was their mum or their nan who needed that space and somebody else had parked in it who wasn't entitled to it I think they'd think a little bit differently then I don't think they think at all. I think they don't appreciate um, the difficulties that people do have when it, when it comes to their physical limitations. Just please think about it and realise what you're doing.